What's up, YouTube? The Duck Gardener here. Just giving you guys a quick update on uh, everything so far. I've had some, or we've had some really crappy weather here in Maine lately. It's just been rainy and foggy. That's my basil. So the weather uh, helped those pop. They sprouted. Looking good. My uh, tomato plants. Uh, champion tomato plants right here. Got some flowers on them. It's a sweet red. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, same with this one, sweet red. So that one's doing great. Not quite sure. Um, and these are actually in uh, Fox Farm Happy Frog soil mixed with some happy frog fertilizers and these two were in fox farm ocean forest mixed with happy frog and this was in an organic mixture of mushroom compost and some other stuff same with my beans so this was actually from I'll show you guys that. Uh, could probably will be able to actually harvest some of these like as soon as we get some sun here again. But these are actually an organic from an organic farm in uh, Yarmouth, Maine, and they're looking awesome. I paid like three something for a pack of seeds from them, but. You know, I want to try it out versus what I usually, you know, just buy. And, uh, you can see my basil in here. I kind of overseeded it, so I replanted some. So I'm going to be cutting some of this out and just letting some other stuff grow. And, of course, my cilantro, which I started really early, is gone to flower. Oh, yeah, my hands are like basil. So I'll be cutting all this, all that down and, uh, you know, just keeping my basil going in there. And here's a super chili. Looking good, getting some little ones on there and some, of course, some flowers and everything. And I just stuck a Roma tomato plant in here, really not expecting it to do anything right in the middle of, I had some, uh, I have some cucumbers back in the very back of this big container here. Let me show you guys that one. Bow! Look at that baby. I don't know. That thing's gonna be ready soon. It's huge. And some other babies coming. Yeah. So I stuck. Uh, I didn't really have enough pots when I got all this stuff. So, you know, I just had some room in this pickle or cucumber container, and uh, so that one's doing all right. But these two sweet reds, I don't know. And this Roma like took off. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. It's kind of blocking uh, everything else right now. And uh, let's try to move that over, I guess. And there it is. There's a Promix tomato that we put in here a couple days ago. So keep my eye on that. And I did go out, or I'm sorry, cocoa mix, sorry. That's planted uh, just in a cocoa perlite mix. And I did go out and get some Pro Mix, so we're going to do uh, the series, a series on here. Uh, the comparison of the two tomatoes has just been really crappy weather, and I actually don't have any more containers, I realize. So I have to get another three gallons, three gallon pot. So I'll get another one of those. And we're going to put another tomato in here and just try to save two of them. And again, that was extra just from my mom's garden. I didn't realize she never used them, so I grabbed them the other day and just trying to save them. And down here in a five gallon, I got two more of those sweet red mini peppers. Ah, uh, what the hell is it exact? Oh, shit. Man, that steak. Let's whack that steak. Uh, all right, so. Uh, oh, pimento, that's what I got. So here we go. Uh, sweet peppers, so uh, that's what those are, and uh, this thing's huge. 
So that, get down here. Again, like I said, it's been crappy here in Maine. All rainy, crappy. Don't mind my trash, also on the deck I have to get rid of. <laughs> in a big dump run in my trailer, but. Anywho, look at that. Boom, look at that Roma. That is in a three gallon pot. See, I got some flowers. Little babies will start coming. And again, this one, uh, yeah, that might be like a gallon and a half or two gallon pot. Like I said, I was running out of pots when I got all this stuff, so I wasn't really, you know, thinking too much. But we'll see what happens with this one. I get some little mini romas in that little pot, but this one's looking good. Some flowers. This is the better looking one right here. Those. And, uh, yeah, this Roma is, uh, doing awesome. Oh. So, yeah, that's just an update. Ooh, and up here, Italian parsley. And that's doing just killer uh, well this rain I guess but I'll be trimming it up using it for something here soon and uh, I got chives from seed and basil I accidentally dumped dumped a whole crap load of seeds in there so a little mini basils I'm just seeing what happens with that uh, yeah that's what I got this year next year I'm going totally insane and I'm just doing big uh, 18 to 20 gallon containers like these full of all kinds of stuff and do potatoes uh, add that to the mix and I'm just impressed with these green beans way down in there's a bunch of them nice so yeah anyway this is the update and I'll be back with another video when we attack this. So, I'm gonna put one more in some Pro Mix, and the series is gonna be the Cocoa versus Pro Mix with different nutrients, and I'll go over the nutrients in the future video. That's what I have, and also, like I said, upcoming in the channel, um, on this channel, is gonna be my winter series, and that is indoor growing of veggies, indoor. Uh, I'm actually going to do a hydroponic series and a cocoa series for, for indoor growing your own veggies through the winter. So again, I'm in the state of Maine. It's long winters here. And I like to have fresh vegetables. The stores, you know, the stores around here, the supermarkets are not the best. So yeah, that's it. And I'll be back. Stay tuned. More Deck Gardener videos and again I apologize for the shakiness I will be getting a new camera soon